was the first weekend with the car? Um, to be honest, I'm just more and more of a fan of this car. More and more in love with this car. <laughs> it's crazy, this car. It's funny, because at first you, like, scared of it. You're like, it's new. You're nervous about it. Oh, I forgot to hit the 777. 790. But, um... Now I'm at almost 800 miles. At first, you're a little nervous with the car. It's a 200, more, more than $200,000 car, so you're a little, like, nervous. Like, you don't want to damage anything. But, like, after a few hundred miles, you just get more comfortable with it, and you just fall in more in love with it. Little things that, that it does that you didn't know it did. And then little touches, like how to manipulate the, the throttle and how to give it the sound that you really want it to do. And you slowly, you know, get familiar with the car, and the car gets familiar with you. So you're not just putt putting around, like you're really getting a vibe with the car and yourself. And it just meshes really well, so it's wild. If I just want to coast like I am now, I can do that. There's no horrible drone with the exhaust or anything, it's nice and crisp. But if I want to hit on it, which I won't, because I don't want to scare my passengers, I can do that, like I did this morning. Like This morning's ride was really solidified, like the idea of buying this car and, and how happy I am buying the car, you know what I mean, because at first I thought I like, oh man, this is kind of crazy, like, why would I, uh, spend this kind of cash, like, almost, like, nervous in a way, but, like, I would do it all over again, this car has really made me fall in love with the whole Porsche brand, just, just the whole aesthetics of the car, like, the inside is phenomenal, the outside is beautiful, and then just the way it maneuvers is, hands down, the best thing I've ever driven in my life. I'm so happy I went with the GTS because it has that sporty vibe too. Like the front of the car is like, seems to be a little more sleeker. Like the bumper, it's just more stylish compared to like the, the lesser Carreras, you know what I mean? Not that, you know, it makes much of a difference, but the grill inserts and everything just seems so much more cleaner. And then making the car kind of my own, like with the with the, the window tint and the, the inserts in the front and the side mock is just kind of making it my own style. Ties it up even more to being mine, being one with the car. It's just, it's like the addition of the family. It's like getting a pet. At first, you're a little nervous about it, but now you love it. And like, I don't see myself ever getting rid of this car. It'll be my first and my forever car for sure. I don't see myself selling this car at all. I can't even think about it. I think even if I'm done paying it, I'll still keep it. If I get something else, I get something else. But I only have one guy, garage stall, and this is the ultimate car. This is the ultimate, ultimate car. If you're gonna be a daily driver, if you wanna rip it up on the weekends, I don't see any other car like this 911 GTS that checks off all those boxes. People say, oh, the GT3, it's a great track car. I mean, I'm like, I don't think it's that. It's, it's, it's stiff, it's not comfortable. Like, I'm driving, I'm in sport mode. It's not that aggressive on your back. It's not aggressive with like the cracks in the road, the bumps. They say there's a lot of road noise. I'm on a smooth road right now, I don't hear anything. I think what really matters is the pavement. The layout of the pavement is what matters if you're going to hear a bunch of noise or not. And they don't they don't talk about that when you see these car reviews. Like, oh, there's a bunch of road noise. It's not. There's no road noise. I'm talking at a normal tone right now. And then it's not like I'm screaming to talk to you or, or you pass through. It's, it's just a nice car. If you want to rip around, you can. If you want to go on a little road trip, you can. It's, the, it's like a multi-purpose vehicle. It's not an SUV. But it's true, if you want to lift it and you want to do something, you can do something crazy like that. I'm never going to do that. Oh my god, this truck almost flipped over. All the weight just shifted to the right. I think it might want to. Yeah, I think it, it pulled over because of, because of that issue. That was kind of crazy. But this car, I'm so happy with this purchase. I'm happy I went with the GTS. I'm happy I didn't go with GT3. Although I've never driven it, but I'm seeing how everybody drives that car. They're like, oh, 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 but you're one with the car. But they're shaking all over the, all over the thing. And, uh... <sighs> It's just a, it's an everyday car. This is an everyday car. You can go to the grocery store, you can go to the track, you can go anywhere you want. And it will just put a smile on your face every time you hit that accelerator. Every time you get it, it puts a smile on your face. This car, hands down, has been my best purchase that I've ever made. I've tested a bunch of them, and I'm so happy I went with this 911 GTS. Porsche is doing a phenomenal job. And I understand why there's so much fan base. There's enthusiasts, like Porsche enthusiasts. Like, I get it. I get it, and I never, I never understood it in, in the beginning when I was first like driving cars. Like Porsche was never on my radar, but once I had driven 
Once I drove that 911 Carrera S, I was like, ooh, okay, this is different. This is nice. This is planted. This is agile. This is like, this is doable. And the GTS, like, up so many levels compared to the Carrera S. Like, it checks up all the, like, almost supercar type feel. You know what I mean? The way it just makes you giddy, just laughing. It's like, it makes you feel like a kid all over again. It's weird. You can be a, like myself, a, a, a 30 year old man. But it will bring you back to being 15 and, and or, or even seven years old, giggly and, and giddy all over again. It's so weird. I can't even explain it. The, the only thing I can say is, you know, if you can't afford it, I know this is the first time in my life I could afford something like that. It's because I saved my entire life. But just to get a feel for it, go to a Porsche dealer and say you're interested and go for a test drive with one of the used models. And then you'll know what what I'm talking about, and now what all the other Porsche enthusiasts. Or rent about. it for a weekend. Rent it for a weekend. It's it's still not as expensive as if you're renting a McLaren or a Lamborghini or something, which is crazy because this is so much more car than the Lambo and the McLaren. You can murder me in the comments, but you can tear this thing up, bring it to the track, tear it up, and still be confident that you're gonna make it home, that you're gonna drive safely home. Like it's weird. You get the best of both worlds. Like this is to me. This 911, the Porsche, the whole thing, like, it's another level compared to, like, the Lambos. And <laughs> this, there's no comparison. This car is way... I don't want to say it's underpriced because now it's pretty expensive. Like, they used to be way cheaper. Now that it's kind of, it's kind of through the roof. But now it's at, like, that caliber of, like, McLaren and Lambo. But I think it's... I think it deserves to be at that ranking. I think it deserves the price tag that it has. Because there's nothing out there that makes you feel the way this 911 makes you feel nothing and I'm, i can just hang out coast but when i want to bang corners i can bang corners they say like oh it's like being on rails they are not joking you just feel like you're so planted that you can take those turns with confidence and you know that nothing like uh, you're not gonna like kind of tailspin out of there or anything you don't feel like you're gonna you're gonna lose control it just makes you so confident which is kind of scary because if you're like a new driver you can over you can be overconfident and kind of be in a danger predicament but the car is so readable that like oh you know what's going to happen you know what it wants and you know what and it knows what you want and it just it's ready for it this has been the ultimate 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 sports car or vehicle for a daily I, I just there's no words that can explain the feelings it gives you and now we're just going to enjoy we're going to enjoy this uh, Saturday cruise to Napa Valley get the vineyards out here this car is if one word is just phenomenal. They sell those t-shirts, need money for Porsche. They, that's no joke. I will get one of those shirts because I need money for my Porsche. So like and subscribe. <laughs> Even though I'm not making any money on YouTube yet. But it's been fun. Like, to be honest, thank you guys for like kind of checking out my videos. It, it means a lot. You know what I mean? And then just going through the whole process of ordering the car, seeing what I want, test driven a bunch of other cars, and then kind of finalizing get in the 911 and actually ordering and getting that allocation which is nuts i don't even know how i got that allocation in two days it's just something aligned it's crazy but no when i got the allocation just everything lined up in and then a getting mile, turn left onto tronca street sorry about that and then getting the car in two months still feels like a dream it's, it doesn't feel real like this is this i have to pinch myself and it hurts so i know it's real but it doesn't it doesn't make sense that i got this car this allocation in two two days and then the car itself seeing it being built and what they send you in emails stuff in two months and getting it turn to your left complete onto spec. street then turn right onto california 121 south and then getting it to your complete spec it's yours it's mine it's mine you know what i mean like i designed it i configured it we all dream about going on the configurator and like oh i'm gonna add this i'm gonna add that oh this looks sick one day today today is the day whatever you do just keep going at it man i know life gets a little hot it gets a little crazy you just think that like there's no there's no end in sight of reaching your dreams i mean one day at a time save that money do whatever you gotta do just keep going at it slowly like carve at that before you know it you're gonna have a beautiful statue and whatever it's that's a house or a car or, or a business idea that you kind of make happen when it happens it's such a fulfillment moment that you just sit back and you're just like yeah okay this is this is what life should be these goals being met is what makes you kind of like warm and giddy inside it's like wow okay my hard work paid off 
Think I just say keep it? going. Oh my, was it worth it? I would do this twenty more times. <laughs> but like, this is it. Like to me, I'm like, I'm so happy with this job. It was a hundred percent worth it. I was working nights. You know, I'm in the medical field, so like doing all that hard labor, lifting, and you know, surgeries and blah blah, doing all this stuff and doing odd shifts, doing whatever hours, whatever to get by. So worth it. So so worth it. And moving across country too. You know what I mean? Chasing love. <laughs> Chasing loves and dreams, man. Like I never saw myself in California. Now I'm in California. I'm a Boston guy, diehard Boston guy. Patriots, Red Sox, Celtics, Bruins, anything. Like I never saw myself in California, but boy. I it's funny because like growing up I would tell my dad, like, oh I'm going to California. I'll tell my mom too. I'll tell my parents I'm gonna be going to California. They're like, oh you're crazy. What are you gonna do with California? Da, da, da. And look at us. In California, in a 9-11. I'm not saying manifestations are real, but man, if you believe in something, I feel like that path is just carved out for you. And you just gotta ride that wave, man. And life just kind of brings it to you. Put in the effort, put in the work, don't give up on yourself, but man, just keep going. It all just kind of unfolds for you. Have that idea and go with it, and life just happens for you. Don't overthink things. Little things don't matter. Nothing matters. But your dreams and what makes you smile is the only thing that matters. So keep doing that, and things just unfold for you, man. I, I can't explain how much... I can't explain the position I'm in now besides wanting and needing and dreaming, and it's happening. It's very weird. I feel like I don't have any control of this, and things are just happening. But, man, do I love it. And I love this car, and I love this moment. I can, I'm happy I get to share this with you guys because it's real. You know, there's no sponsorships, there's no nothing, it's just hard work. And I like that I kind of documenting the whole setup of like getting the car, getting the getting configuration, going to the dealership, uh, contacting a bunch of them, and then really, you know, solidifying my dream and creating a reality out of it. Which is, there's no words. Driving this car every moment, it's dreams come true, man. It's dreams come true. All right. That's going to be it for this video. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want. Share with a friend. Leave a comment. Say what's up. If you're in the Bay Area, hit me up, man. I, I go get a coffee. I'm not I'm not opposed to meeting up with you guys. But um, maybe do a cruise or something. Hit the one or whatever. But leave a comment. I'm in Napa now. Hold on to those dreams. Keep carving at it. That statue, that end all will be there before you know it. Peace, fellas. Looks like a good stripper, yeah?